All right, hey guys, we're back. So we're not receiving that much love on Twitter. Uh, some people might know. Uh, so we tweeted out something about Bauer going to the Mets for a three-year, one hundred five million dollar deal, right, Dan? I think that was it. That's correct. Three for one hundred five. Yes. So we weren't receiving credit, but then we saw people tweeting out things about how they're taking our credit, not taking our credit, but there was a guy who was hating it, particularly in our comments, and just said, say it's his credit after seeing what we said and then saying Bauer was going to the Mets. We saw big stream media guys. I saw someone say in the comments, uh, I think it was it was real media, right? And we were a fan blog, something like that. Yeah, we're not real media. They were so we saw real media guys saying all day that Trevor Bauer, or all last night too, Trevor Bauer was going to be a Met. He was going to be a Met. That was it. So I'm not going to try to defend ourselves. We were wrong. It happens. And we just we started this thing where a month in, like, we believed our source, and we still trust our source to this day. I know Dan does at least. I do too. I don't have a problem with the guy. He was wrong. Shit happens. You know, it's life. Things happen. It didn't fall our way. Sorry for the people who trusted us. It just – just sorry. Like, I don't know what to tell you. But I'll let Dan go into it a little bit. I don't think we were wrong at all. I just think the Mets got played. The, we reported at 141. I knew someone, and he told me what he knew from a trusted source he had, which – he knew about the Lindor trade before. I knew about that before. So I believed it. The Mets believed they were getting Bauer and they believed they were finalizing, hammering out deals like options and stuff like that. They didn't know Bauer was going to the Dodgers behind their backs and lying to them, practically. The Mets offered 115. I reported 105. It did go up in the last day. As we found out, the Dodgers offered 102, both three years. The Dodgers front-loaded it a little more than the Mets wanted to. The Mets were cautious of front-loading it and then being practically fucked in a year, pardon my language. But the source I still think is right. We reported at 1.40, and then at 5, 4 p.m., it was on every major news network hmm. that Bauer was going to the Mets. We had it at 1.40. We were, I'm not going to say we were right. We were wrong in the end because the Mets got played, but the source was true. The Mets believed they were getting Bauer. Mm. I thought they were getting Bauer until I saw the tweet. I was on the Mets blog on YouTube watching a live stream as it happened. I thought I was going to be celebrating. Then I know where he goes to the Dodgers. Yeah. Uh, to the Bauer. power's going to fall our way. It's, it's just, it happens. Well, I don't know really what to say. I see the people adding us on Twitter. I don't really care. We had it. I believe the source. The next time he gives me that for Mets info, I will be tweeting it out again because it will be true. The Mets got played, but the Dodgers get overpowered now with a starting rotation, and it's going to be hard for anyone to knock them off. I still think Bueller is the ace of that staff, though. Fair enough. I agree with that. I don't think I don't think Bauer is a true ace. Yeah, but I for Bauer, three point nine career ERA, like he would have been on the Mets, and he will be on the Dodgers, is fantastic for them. Yeah, no, like. Basically, just going back at what happened on Twitter. Yeah, like, I know you guys are going to clown us. It's okay. Like, we understand why you're clowning us. Like, we fucked up. Cards didn't fall our way. It's okay, though. I know we just going to keep getting better. I mean, we just started this. We're young kids. We're 19. It's not like we're, like, older. We saw older people tweeting it. Like, legit reporters tweeting. Sources say Bauer has uh, accepted the deal with the Mets. And people were judging him all night, too. Bob Nightingale reported yeah. it for the USA Today. Yeah, legit. Like, we were wrong, so shit happens. Like I don't know what to say, but going into the Dodgers more, I think the Dodgers are like un unmatched now with Bauer on that team. Like it's just crazy how good they're gonna be. I'm a Yankees fan. I'm not really. I'm not a Mets fan. That's that mad Dan really. He runs the Twitter, but I was backing up the whole time, man. I'm still gonna back this kid up no matter what. He's my boy. We're doing this together. If we fucked up, it's okay though. We're we're gonna be better. That's all I gotta say really about it. Anything else uh, want to talk about the Dodgers? Dodgers a little bit. Their rotation is going to be Kershaw, Bueller, May, either Price or Urias, and then Bauer. That they're going to need hope help on their backside of the bullpen, but their lineup will be overpowered again with Bellinger, Muncy, Betts, Seager, Chris Taylor starts for them. They're going to have a good team. I don't think anyone's going to touch them unless they get plagued by injury, but. That was a killer. I'm going to go from the Mets perspective because I am a Mets fan. And even as a Yankee fan, I would be rooting for the Mets to get them for the sake of the World Series. Yeah. The Mets won't be able to touch them unless you're telling me Stroman has a great season. Thor comes back hot from injury who has struggled before injury. The Grom will be the Grom, but they really have one starter where the Dodgers are going to be putting up two to three aces every night. 
So I don't know what I don't know who's gonna stop them unless they're plagued by injury. But they have been chokers in the postseason. I know this postseason they did win, but it still wasn't again in front of a full building. So maybe that played a part. But I don't see anyone that's gonna be able to touch the Dodgers, and that's where it hurts more as a Met fan. It's not like you went to the Angels and they be away. The Mets think they're contenders along with the Braves in the East, but now you're gonna have to go through the Dodgers, which I don't know how anyone will go through. Yeah, true, hundred percent. Yeah, and like you said, the World Series. Yeah, that's the only thing that's like, yeah, looking at it right now. But I don't know what the Yankees have to do to try to get better than the Dodgers right now. The Dodgers seem so good, but figure out what happens. That's all I really got to say about it. I don't got that much to say about it. Anything else you want to talk about real quick or no? No, I got nothing. We're going to be releasing an episode probably tomorrow about Super Bowl previews, and we'll probably go into this. This will probably go out in like 20 minutes. So it's 412 right now. So hopefully it'll be good in like 20 minutes. But just releasing this to you guys, man, like, shit happens. Didn't fall our way. We still believe our source, and that's really much it, man. So thanks, guys. If you watched, uh, drop a like and sub. If you want to keep clowning, I guess you'll keep clowning. We have nothing to say about it. We still are going to hold hold the front, if you want to say. It's, it's just how it fell. Thanks, guys, for watching.